How's it going boys, girls, and squirrels? We're back watching the most unsettling thing put to film. Now before we begin, make sure you leave a like on the video, it really helps me out with the algorithm a ton. Oh, but Danny, what, what, I'm gonna like a video before I've even watched you? How do I even know if I like it yet? Hey, it's me, it's Danny, it's Danny from 15 minutes from now. Don't worry, turns out, you loved the video. Oh my god, you kidding me? It was, it was like the best video you've ever seen in your entire life. So make sure you leave a like. Alright, let's get into it. Yeah, well, actually... I had a date yesterday with this cute little dwarf rabbit. What? You cheated on your girlfriend? She's gonna kill you. But this other girl was so hot! This is the most casual I'm cheating on my girlfriend conversation I've ever seen. Hey, maybe don't shout about how hot your mistress is when you're just sitting on a bench in the middle of campus. So much fun just to talk to her. She's sexy too. So you didn't say she was hot and sexy? Well, that changes everything. And her body is pure white. No patterns. She's not a sound sleeper. Once we're done, she cleans up after herself and leaves. Why do you reveal that information like he's Hannibal Lecter? What a sadistic way to tell your friend you're sleeping with the same girl. That means there are other guys out there who she's got her claws into. Her claws? Come on, she's a rabbit. Be careful, my friend. Make the mistake of falling for her, she'll quickly devour you and spit out your bones. I don't think you guys know what a rabbit is. Are you nervous? Just oh my god, and we're just right back into it. Well, I appreciate the show's efforts of easing me back into this nightmare. This is my first time with a carnivore too, you know. Is this some sort of greeting? Yeah, she's saying hello to your penis and goodbye to your virginity. It's a beautiful cream color. I want to see how far it goes. Is that okay? I don't like how realistic this dialogue is. I don't like how good the acting is. I don't like how natural the dialogue sounds. This is the only scene I've ever seen that is made worse by being well written. I'm doing all the work trying to set the mood, you know. Uh, That's the reason you're here, aren't you? What? Lagoshi, you fucking dunce. Are you really still not picking up on the situation here? Well, that's a relief. You were jumping down four steps at a time, so I thought something bad happened. Something bad like what? Uh. Oh god, not you too! Hey, this is a greeting among herbivores. God, they're all so narrow-minded. I mean, I'm not really one to talk. I was about to devour her. Okay, but that is such a deeper issue than I've never talked to girls before. You were gonna murder that girl! Let's not just chalk that one up to inexperience talking to women. Coexistence? What a joke. Keep it down, would ya? He kicked me off the actor's team. What do I care who hears? Ready? Music, please. <sighs> I'm not as bitter as I was before, though. Well, you must have been pretty fucking bitter before. For example, uh, let's take Sheila from the dance team. At age 14, that cheetah was scouted while she worked part-time as a dominatrix at a BDSM club to make ends meet. 14? She wasn't scouted from a club, she was rescued from a sex ring. And in case you're wondering about me, I'm a mongoose who was abandoned at birth and raised by a family of hyenas. This poor mongoose is pouring his whole heart out and Lagoshi's just over here staring at Louie's legs. Does that mean Louie has a secret he keeps to himself? Even a deer with his spotless of a reputation as his? Louis almost beat up a goat the other day for forgetting his lines. I feel like this guy's got a pretty spotted reputation. Don't want to hear it from anyone. It's too late to tell me that my body wasn't built to fight. On top of that, I have osteoporosis. I guess that's probably contributing to my body being weak more than me being a deer. But still, fuck this society. At yesterday's rehearsal, I focused the spotlight tighter in the last scene for a more dramatic effect. Yeah, I noticed. Would you quit looking at his gross-ass hands? I clip my nails every day, but they grow back sharp by the next day. You're saying you can't resist it? Those feral instincts? Seems like less of an instinct and more of a... calcium issue. <laughs> you know, you herbivores gotta find a better way of greeting people. If you can't hide it completely, I'd rather you show me your true self. What? I'm telling you to show me your fangs. What is Louis talking about? You know, Lagoshi's behavior around Haru is starting to make a lot more sense now. Look, are you trying to kiss me? I've had a very confusing day. Come at me with everything you've got. Go ahead, Lagoshi. Bite me! Why are all you herbivores so fucking weird? No wonder Lagoshi's an antisocial freak. Everyone's always fucking touching him. If they're not trying to get their paws in his pants, they're trying to get them in his mouth. Wolves are strong. 
But you're different. It means something that you're also strong. Oh, oh, this writing. Oh, it's so good. Louis is so good. Louis is such a great character, dude. Hey, Lego Sheik, just starting, huh? Mm. You too? Yeah. It's kind of hard to see with all this fog around here. What are these, gag rooms? I thought these were like animal-specific bathrooms, not excuses for the writers to do silly animal bits. So do you guys think that rabbits really live on the moon? Shut the fuck up, Judy! Why would anybody think that? I'm not just a monster lurking in the darkness. I'm a mammal, carnivore, and part of the Kennedy family. I'm a mammal, carnivore. And the son of John F. Kennedy. Gotta be honest, I didn't see that twist coming. I won't give any indication to the audience. One animal. One single animal. There is only one that I can trust. I do love how even though this guy has turned his back on the entire world, he at the very least respects Lagoshi's. And that's me. Oh, never mind. The wounded. The Grim Reaper is here. Yeah, you sure about that, Captain Crunch? You see, that was a remark on his outfit and the noise his ankle made. <sighs> My legs are numb. I can't feel them. How am I even standing right now? Oh, no, there we go. That makes more sense. What? What's this commotion about? Don't you hear that applause? Let's get on with the curtain call! Yo, three episodes in, Louie has all the makings of being one of the best anime characters I've ever seen. Yeah, it helps that his voice actor is amazing, but what an incredible character to put in this animal-themed story. You really understand that Louis feels like he needs to prove himself with every breath he takes. And yeah, he's like an asshole, but it's so clear that that comes from him being like constantly terrified of his status in this society, like crumbling to the ground. Like as if getting to that status was easier and less mentally straining than keeping that status. And this dude is so unhinged that now that his acting career might be over, I'm like terrified for every other character. Like I'm waiting for this guy to just snap and freak out on everybody. But it's like I said in the first video, there's just such a like cold, quiet hatred to Louis's character that is so, I don't know, it's so, it is melodramatic and it is like extreme, but something about the tone being so suspenseful rather than so like over-exaggerated makes it feel all the more intense. Anyway, brief episode transition. If you like this video and you want to see more content from me not found anywhere else, make sure you consider subscribing to my Patreon. There you'll get access to my exclusive Food Wars reaction videos not found anywhere else, as well as access to my exclusive Discord server. It'll also just go a super long way towards helping this channel and allowing me to keep putting out content as frequently as I do. So if you want to help support the channel while also getting a little something in return, make sure you consider checking out the link in the description below. The medical team checked you out, and according to them, you broke your left leg. Looks like that means you won't be able to take the stage for tomorrow's performance. My whole life people have told me to break a leg out there. Now that I have, they reject me for it. What is this cruel fate I've resigned myself to? Have some compassion. Louie made it through the first day with a broken leg. Incredible. Louie, your performance was impeccable today. We were discussing what we should do about the show tomorrow. Hey guys, this dude woke up 15 seconds ago. Could you give him a minute? Well, I'm not the best athlete. <laughs> This can't be how rehearsals are done. Any theater majors in the comments, let me know if it's typical theater procedure to come at your understudy with a kendo stick and the rage of a thousand crashing waves. <laughs> yep, you're definitely a gray wolf. You wouldn't be able to act like this with a red deer. <laughs> Is there no choreographer? They're just gonna go at each other with sticks on stage? <sighs> come tomorrow? Gonna be a hell of a show. Are you being supportive or trying to kill me? You're waiting for Louie to come out, right? Yeah, but he never came out yesterday. He's usually really good to the fans. Maybe 
he just wanted to avoid you. God, these girls are the worst. I refuse to waste my life away living like that. I'm grateful from the bottom of my heart that I was born a tiger. You can even say I'm grateful. Louie and I were just out in the hall gossiping about you. Nothing bad. Whoa. Oh shit, Bill's getting the sniffing treatment. Oh, following me to the bathroom, huh? You in love with me now or what? Like she's about to give him the old herbivore hello, if you know what I mean. Do you want a taste? Is that what this is? <laughs> That's rabbit blood. Oh shit, we doing rabbit's blood back here? I didn't know we were doing RB at this thing. Let me get a bump of that. So, you just gotta understand. <laughs> What is Legoshi getting so pissed about? This seems way healthier than stalking students at night and wrestling with the urge to eat them. Why is the flame chasing after us? You were supposed to be dead three days ago. Water, wind, fire. Every dead soul in the universe is trying to kill you. Yo, put this play on Broadway. When are they going to release the Adler cut already? Hey, that's not Louie playing Adler, right? It's not him. I don't see any horns. What a scam. You're blowing it, Bill. Blowing it! Legoshi rolling up here like he's about to pay off his mortgage. You know, because he's like... Because he's like paying off his bills and... And the tiger's name is Bill. I'll destroy every part of you. Oh, he just fucking launched him! Legoshi said, I got my tax returns, bitch! I'll see you in hell! It's another Bill's joke, alright? I'm sorry. Hey, hold on. What's wrong with you? Oh, Legoshi just made the switch to Geico! Because he's dropping his bills! Is any of this getting through to you? I won't ever forgive you. Stop them! Now! Uh, why don't you try? Aren't you the director? Wow, check out the audience. It's like they're mesmerized. Who knew this was all it took? To be fair, they're watching a guy get beaten to death. It's some pretty mesmerizing stuff, Bill, but maybe not from where you're sitting. <laughs> Yo, is Lugoshi gonna fucking kill this guy right now? That's enough, Lego Shane. Dude, it was enough like 30 punches ago. You smelled rabbit blood before, isn't that right? Uh, was it your prey? Uh, Did you kill it? Carnivores and herbivores should not be living together. Oh, uh, might be a hot take. Might be an unpopular opinion for me to run my platform on. You can't have half the animals in this school constantly wanting to murder the other half. You know, at least not until college. Damn it. It's so warm. This is the craziest show I've ever seen. J like, no exaggeration. This is so fucking intense. Demon Slayer, Assassination Classroom, Attack on Titan. This is the craziest. Dude, like, because <laughs> it's like the scope of it, you know? This is so unbelievably brutal. This is so vicious. This is the proof of our bond. We both have stripes we'll wear with pride. What a fucking crazy line! Dude! Dude! Why is this so fucking crazy? Look at this! I'm doing a terrible job at being a reaction channel right now because I'm really struggling to find the words. It's just... I just didn't expect it. You know? I didn't expect this fucking Shakespearean epic of a show. I'm the star. Let me land the final blow, understand? Dude, this is the goddamn performance of a lifetime. I am so captivated by this fake play right now. <gasps> it's Lewis! You are having way too much fun. Dude, I would've leapt out of my seat if I was in that fucking audience. What a hype comeback in a fucking high school play. I know who you are. 
Dude, she loves it. The platypus can't fucking handle it. Yo, no chance he's making that gesture with a broken leg. I'm a perfectly healthy man and I can hardly sit in a chair without both of my knees wanting to explode. You know, now that I think about it, perfectly healthy might have been an overstatement. We're all right now. Louis' delicate hands. Ordering me to stand tall. It's so wild that Louis and Lagoshi have like a Guts and Griffith rivalry. I'm waiting for somebody to snap. I know Lagoshi basically did in this episode, but like, <laughs> I don't know. I'm waiting for a breaking point. You know, even Lagoshi snapping felt more like tension winding than like a full on break. There is so much hatred in this show and the tone is so suspenseful that I'm just waiting for like a Griffith style fucking outcome to happen. But anyway, that's Beastars. It's, um, like, really, really fucking good. <laughs> this is, like, a relentlessly good show. I'm so hyped to see the next ones. Let me know in the comments what you think of the show. Let me know also what other shows you want to see me react to, uh, review, whatever. And I will see you guys next time.